Hi, this is my first vlog, so we're going to try out this technology and make sure it all works. I'd like to talk to you about the five videos that I picked for my cognitive thinking under mathematics. I, I got so excited with looking at cognitive thinking stuff that I also did one on science because I just found some fascinating things, so I'm going to talk about both of them. The first uh, video that I found under mathematics was multiplication using Vedic mathematics. It's a different form of um, calculation and what I wanted to do with this was to have the kids compare because I teach middle school have the kids compare regular algorithm mathematics to the Vedic system and see what they think the pros and the cons might be of both systems the second video is about the Mobius transformations and how they um, they're shown visually how transformations happen and what they've done is created a, a sphere object above it to show the reflection so that they can um, easily see what happens when there's a transformation occurring on the on the graph so um, it's a little bit over what I would be teaching but I think it's very interesting and the kids would learn a lot just by looking at it the top 10 algebra mistakes are pretty obvious ones but they're very common so it's just easy to point those out especially at the beginning of the year that would be a really fun one to review so that uh, everybody's on the same page and get over those summer doldrums there. The history of mathematics starts at the beginning and talks about the different um, uh, numbering systems and what they used to calculate and uh, different eras during that time up to current and that's also a very fun video if you want to uh, tie that in with like a world studies class or something like that. The Be a Human Calculator, um, this gentleman seems to have several ways to calculate things that seem to be a lot faster. They do make sense if you sit down and, and look at it and for some kids maybe this is the help that they need to make sense of what's going on when you multiply or divide. What does God have to do with mathematics education? Um, is kind of misnamed, I think. The only thing that he mentions about God basically is that um, that God made man very intelligent and so when you are teaching algorithms to children about like long division and specific that you know teaching them where a number goes and how you bring it down and all that needs to have some kind of explanation so that it actually makes sense what's happening and so he takes a, a different view of teaching long division that is very interesting and I think it would, would be helpful for teachers just to look it over and see if they can't use that as a secondary method to help kids that are struggling with long division understand what the concept is talking about. Square One TV loves Square One. They're always so silly. It's kind of like um, you know, uh, Schoolhouse Rock where they learn some things when they don't really mean to be learning them. And this particular one works on Roman numerals, which we do deal with in, in the middle school uh, understanding. It's usually a very short lesson on Roman numerals, but it, it was a very fun video, and I think that the kids would enjoy it. On the science side, uh, the one I was most excited about was uh, they are talking about the Hadron Collider and uh, that happening very soon and they have what they call the Large Hadron Wrap that was uh, actually put together by some of the people that worked on this uh, project and it has been gotten rave reviews from other scientists saying that the science part of that is very uh, close to what's going on and so they can't really fault the science in the wrap itself so it's, it's an interesting one to watch as well uh, the surface tension of water and microgravity, there's a couple of those there and very interesting um, experiments from the International Space Station. So it's actually done in microgravity situations and uh, the explanations would definitely be a little bit over uh, a middle schooler's head at a certain point, but they can understand surface tension because that is taught in middle school so they can see what the difference is even if they don't totally understand the difference at this point. The physics, there's five videos on that and I'm sure there's a lot more. I subscribe to the science channel 
and under those they had the top 100 greatest discoveries and this the five videos display the first through the 13th and uh, they're very uh, basic physics but uh, they explain it in a very uh, com complete way for students to understand. The physics of fluids, waves, and a large free sphere of water was very interesting uh, to watch what's, what happens when you inject water and this is also done in outer space. The science of big waves has to do with a section in Hawaii on the North Shore uh, that's north of Half Moon Bay that is a very dangerous place for people to surf but uh, the science of it and telling why those waves are so dangerous and what the underlying currents have to do with in the bottom of the ocean are all very uh, exciting to watch. Exciting to watch the surfing. The kids will like to watch the surfing, but the science is, is very complete there. This is my video log for this week, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Thanks.